Hello, Christina Warren from Mashable um, with my new iPad, as you can see, and this is the Netflix app. Um, and despite the shininess of the screen, which is fun to have it reflect off of the shininess of my 27-inch iMac screen, um, the app is actually pretty cool. It uh, you can go forward in different places. You know, it, it's um, one of those things where you can kind of skip forward a little bit. Um, pause a little bit. It'll take more time for it to kind of, you know, locate stuff. So this is starting it over from the beginning. You can see, you know, the star stuff. Uh, if I do this, then I'm going back to uh, to browsing. Um, it's a. Uh, it's pretty hardcore. It's um, it needs a little bit of work, I think, for some of their usability stuff. I think that they probably didn't have a chance to work on it on a real iPad when they were developing it, but that doesn't change the fact that, that it's very, very cool. Um, on the bottom panel of the iPad is, is your volume buttons, uh, where you can go up or down, which is nice. And you can, of course, uh, now lock the screen so that if I turn it this way, it doesn't do anything, which is pretty cool. Um, so rather than uh, watching Rachel get, getting married, uh, good movie, by the way, um, this is the iPad. This is it when we're in landscape mode. And because I locked it on the bottom, which is a fact that I'm doing this without being able to look at the device, um, shows that it's pretty easy to do, means I can rotate it. Um, and even if I have it upside down, it will um, write itself, which is pretty cool. So comes with applications and then it'll load on things. It gives you several spaces here um, so it doesn't clutter the screen too much. Let's go ahead and take a look at another app. Let's look at Twitterific for the iPad, which is very awesome. Um, Twitterific was one of the very first Twitter clients to come out on the market. And it was a Mac client first, and then it became an iPhone app, and, and now it's an iPad app. And we did um, a hands-on, uh, or rather we did a review of Twitterific, but to see it hands-on, you know, it's kind of hard to see the way the screen is, but you can look at your messages, to see your direct messages. You can look at your favorites. It will automatically load your list. Um, a lot of the same features of Tweety, if you're familiar with Tweety from uh, for, for the iPhone, is built into Twitterific, but it's got its own really unique design. You can do multiple accounts if you pay $4.99 um, as an in-app upgrade, and $4.99 will also get you an ad-free version. So that's pretty cool. You can also look at trends, which is pretty nice. Um, because a lot of us really like to, to look at the trends, so you can then click on a button and it'll immediately load all of your trends up. And it'll do the refresh just like uh, on a Twitterific and, and Tweety on the iPhone where if you pull down, refresh. So you can look at your lists. Um, I'm not sure if you can create lists or not. I haven't really had a chance to play with it, but I'm going to go ahead and send a tweet now. So you can see sending a tweet from uh, my iPad. And iPad now automatically capitalizes itself. Yay! I'm, I'm not going to be annoyed when uh, my iPhone wouldn't auto-capitalize iPad. So, and actually, this kind of shows you again, if you slip it into landscape mode, it gives you full um, full size stuff. You can click on this um, list here. You can do to shorten links. You can clear all text. But um, I'm happy with this. And uh, you can even hide the keyboard if you want. And it, it's not really easy to see on the screen on the video, but it's got a little tweety icon in the bottom corner. So I'm sending out my my stuff and I can look at my, all my tweets. This is how it looks in landscape mode. Landscape mode is kind of cool because then if I click on here, if I click on my account, then I can see this little overlay panel, which is pretty nice. But where you really get the power, obviously, is when you have it in uh, portrait mode. Reverse this. Uh, landscape is where you get all the good stuff. Portrait mode is where you have the little drop down stuff. So I, I can look through things, I can search different accounts, I can um, find my own user profile and look at that. I can do, re I can easily, you know, refresh stuff. It's, um, it's pretty nice. And I'll go into another app while we've got this open. ABC's player. ABC's player will bring up all these shows, and you see Jamie Oliver's Food Revolution, and I can watch the latest episode of Grey's Anatomy. So let's do that. The following episode is presented with limited commercials. Brian, I think it's about time we had the talk. Oh, not that ill. All right, even though Oreo Keeksters are made by Oreo, Oreo cream in them. You don't dump them. That's where Oreo cookies only. And I'm pretty sure that 
the ad, this is kind of interesting. We, we can't do anything with it, whether it, yeah, if you, this is interesting. You put this in this direction, you can see clips and you can also see the ad. So, and it shows you how many seconds you've got left. But in portrait mode, it shows you, um, or landscape mode rather, it shows you the whole, uh, the whole thing. Um, now if I click on it, at the bottom of the screen is the player, and I can go to different points. I can just kind of scroll my, my finger through, and it'll, you know, buffer up and catch up to that point. Um, it'll make me watch an ad first. Again, you can see how many seconds you've got left by making it horizontal, vertical rather. And again, if I wanted to lock this, there's this button on the side, which wouldn't let me do anything with it. So that's pretty cool. So now we see Grey's Anatomy. And no matter what direction I turn it in, whether it's upside down, you know, it will play. And so that's pretty cool. And I can just kind of, you know, press here. I can pause. I can uh, make it fill the whole screen. Um, and that will obviously not keep it in 16 by 9. Um, if I want to read the synopsis, I can do that. I can purchase it directly on iTunes. Um, good job with, uh, good job BBC. They've done a nice job with that app. So I've been going on for like seven minutes now. And uh, I seriously doubt you all care to <laughs> see everything I'm doing on my iPad. But the app, the iPad is, it's amazing. It, it, is, it is one of those things where you end up saying like a million overflowing flowery terms about the device. And you wouldn't think so until you actually get it in your hand. You wouldn't realize, oh my God, this is like incredible. But it really, really is. My fiance is already completely talking about how this is a game changing paradigm shift whole new device thing and he was kind of not completely sold on the iPad so just goes to show you you want to be able to use it um, email um, got to set that up but basically here it is the iPad I love it already and I haven't even really had a chance to play with it much I love it keep, uh, keep tuned in to Mashable.com for our reviews posts and uh, other information about the iPad and uh, all other Apple products as well as Android, social media, social networking, viral videos, technology, business trends, marketing stuff, et cetera.